everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at gold, AU, right here on the periodic chart. And one of its strange properties that every prospector, gold panner, or people that even watch these videos knows about, and that is gold likes to float. Now most people would think that it floats because gold is hydrophobic. It floats, um, it repels water. Well, technically that's not correct. Uh, gold is really... 100% clean gold is hydrophilic, which means it can be wetted and it should sink directly to the bottom of every pan and never float on the top, because it is 19 times heavier than water. However, if gold has a just a monolayer of carbonaceous contaminant on it, uh, that makes it hydrophobic, and that's why gold likes to float. 99% of all the gold that you'll ever come across, whether it's on the river or in a bag of gold pay dirt that you buy from eBay or something, it's going to be dirty and it's going to be hydrophobic. It's safe to say that all gold is hydrophobic. So always add surfactant to your water. And I think we're going to take some of this gold and bring it over to Krusty Rusty there uh, just to do a quick little experiment. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'll see you over there. So right here, guys, this is the GoPro that I've been using for almost a year next month it'll be a year i've been using this camera for my videos on youtube uh, pretty much exclusively um, i've had one other camera but i rarely used it and i went ahead and bought a um, a canon 80d dslr camera but i ended up sending it back just because um you know i wanted to upgrade for the channel and I was so used to using this little camera here that um, I bought that big DSLR camera and it was just too bulky to carry around out in the woods. And so I, I upgraded to the GoPro 6 Black that, I, that I'm, you're watching from right now. And it's nice because there's a screen that I can actually see what I'm doing. Like I can point to things and you can see exactly what I'm pointing at. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. There's a little scratch in the lens here. The LCD screen cracked on me. See that it doesn't really. It only it's only like ha, it only works like half of the screen works, so I can't even really resell this thing. But it served me well. It's a good little camera. It still works fine, except for that little scratch in the screw in the lens right there. But anyway, just thought I'd show you that. This is the first video I'm shooting on the the new GoPro, so. This isn't a camera review, this is a gold panning video, so let's get back to it. All right, we're over here at Krusty Rusty and a pan. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this gold here. This is the stuff that I panned from ipan for gold uh, pay dirt company. So we're gonna go ahead and just pour this in. Uh, let's get a little bit of water in there. Now this water hasn't been treated or anything. There's no surfactant at all in there. So let's just go ahead and pour this right in there. You can see a lot of the flower gold is just floating away. Yeah, there's a lot of flower gold floating around in there. Yeah, check it out. Right there, you can see a couple big pieces floating. Now, that... These pieces here, this piece is about an eighth inch long. This one's about a sixteenth. And that just goes to show you how gold can actually float. Obviously, if I put a drop of Jet Dry in there, you just take it like two drops and see that some of that flower gold still floating around but we can move it around a bit and it'll yeah most of that gold is now safe we don't have to worry about losing it I still see two little flakes right there thought that would be a fun little demonstration there. I know it's not a very long video, but it's a really important thing to, 
to understand uh, if you plan on panning for gold, uh, especially for someone that is new, this is a really good tip. So I hope that helped you guys out if anybody was wondering about the, the strange properties of gold and why it floats and stuff. Well, that's it right there. And uh, another thing, never put your bare fingers into this water because your fingers have natural oils on it, which will, um, it'll pollute the gold, which will make it hydrophobic and make it float more. So that's why you'll always see me wearing gloves uh, in my videos. The reason I'm not wearing them right now is for this specific purpose. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.